Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So the user asking here is how to find sum of an array column for rows that have the same ID. Okay, so I have some sample data here. Okay, so I got a record ID, total amount, and a couple of IDs are replicated here. So at the end, you know, what we want is we want to filter, uh, you know, record ID 1, record ID 2, record ID 3, and finding the sums. And these are the sums I'm expecting. So number 1, it should be minus 2, 400. Number 2, 2, 800. Number 3, minus 200. Okay. Right. So let's start building the flow then. So here I'm going to use, um, you know, the manual trigger. And uh, the first thing I'm going to declare is an array then. So I need this array uh, later on down the line. So uh, let's look for the variable. And that's uh, array variable. So that is in initialize variable. And uh, call, call it as find some results. Final result. And that's an array. The next thing I'm going to use a compose. And rename that compose to our data. And uh, note that. <laughs> um, I need to copy the data then here. Yeah. Right, OK. So I got the data now. So the plan is I'm trying to avoid in this video you know, the iteration. Um, finding uh, f uh, the looping uh, the iterations and then finding the sum uh, because uh, you know the iterations take more time it's an expensive uh, you know um, um, for expense uh, for expensive uh, solution then in terms of um, performance so I'm trying to avoid that route okay uh, so we got the data now so next thing I'm going to use is pass the data okay so pass JSON Okay, call this as pass JSON data. And under the under the content, I'm going to map the previous data. This is our actual data now. Click on the generate sample and paste that sample data. Okay. Right. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to get only the record IDs now from this. So instead of looping, I can get uh, you know, I'll show you the technique here to use a select. Okay, using the select. And what I'm going to do here again is rename select rec IDs, record IDs. And that's from the previous past JSON data body. Here it is. See that? And what I want is I want the record ID. So I'm going to type here record ID. And that's coming from the previous step, pass JSON data record ID. Okay. Now from here, my plan is I want to get the unique record IDs so that I can easily filter it. Okay. So the technique we need to use there is I am going to use a union expression. So for that, I'm going to add another compose. And call it as get unique rec IDs, right? And then the, under the expression, I'm going to say union. Click on the dynamic coming from the uh, previous output, which is a select record ID output. That's one. We need two arrays. So again, select the same thing here. That's the technique we need to do. OK, so it's the same thing we need to select twice there, right? Okay, let's run this flow and see what we are going to get. Right, flow ran successfully and we can see here, here it is, we got the unique record IDs now, okay? So, so far it's good. Okay, so the next plan is I'm going to iterate, iterate this record ID. So I need this schema then again. So I'm going to press Control A, Control C, which is going to copy in the clipboard. And next step, I'm going to add the pass JSON again. 
okay data operation pass json so the content is coming from the previous output click on the previous output is our see get unique record id yeah that is that's the value i need to select here then click on the generate sample copy you know that uh, value which i copied earlier that is only the unique record ids here click done okay and uh, rename this call it as um, unique uh, rec ids here it is okay that's done right so the next step is i'm going to use another compose and rename this compose to each record id so i want to get the each record id now that is one two and three then in my case yeah so that is coming from the previous pass json record id so we got an apply to each year because we got more than one record it's an array hence the loop has been added automatically by the flow hope that makes sense yeah the next thing i want my plan is um, i'm trying to you know avoid as much as apply to each loop here so in the next below steps i'll be using select and some xpath expressions to get the values okay that's our goal then here so now at this stage i got each ids then let's run this flow and check that okay so in the loop see we got three records so first record is number one that's record number two that's record number three so you can see here you know we got record number one that's a one this is the second one uh, then uh, you know the third one see that because we we filtered it by you know the unique values remember so we got three only there okay now the next step add an action again and here i'm going to use filter array now so under the data operations you can see filter array so for the filter array i'm going to say the what I want is I want to filter with the original data against my each record ID. So my original data is coming from the past JSON data, which contains, you know, the full data set. So this body I need. Okay. So that's quite crucial here. So under the filter array, I'm looking for the body of that. Go all the way down. You can see the past JSON data, which we built, you know, the first past JSON data we had that body we want there. Okay. And then here I'm going to say the expression item question mark single quotes rec ID. That's a record ID, yeah, is equal to each record ID, each record ID output. Okay, so let's see what we are going to get here. Right, flow ran successfully under the filter array. See, we got record one now with those values. Now, under number two, again click on the show output. Here we go, I got three records. And in record number three, third loop, I got two records, which is correct. Okay, I mean, in theory, you know, I could get this schema and again iterate through the apply to each to find, you know, the total amount. I'm not going to do that way. I'm going to use the XPath expression here, which is much more better way to do that. Okay, so that's filter array. So for that, I'm going to use a select. So another data operation called select here. So under the select, what I'm going to do here is this body of this filter array, filter array I want. So if I go down, I can see, see the body of that filter array from the previous step. Then the technique here is click on the T sign. See the T sign here and map the total amount. That's the only thing I'm after here. Here it is. Okay. So that means I'm going to run this and show you now how that's going to look like. we got 
the number one record we got minus 1 800 minus 600 then the next one we got three records only those amount i'm interested then three we got two records okay right see these all operations are within the loop remember okay that's quite crucial also so now to do the xpath expression i need to format this value in a specific way so i'll show you that it's quite easy to do again that i'm going to add a compose and just call this as json amount format or JSON amount. Yeah, that's enough. Right. So this is a format I'm going to do here. Curly bracket. Here we go. Two curly brackets. Put some spaces. If you want to put some spaces, it's fine. It's optional. But for the indentation, I'm going to do that. Okay. Then double quotation type root. Colon. Then again, uh, curly bracket. And press an enter key okay now inside i'm going to type amount and under the amount after the colon i'm going to map the output of that select previous select see yeah previous uh, the select output okay now we it's quite easy now we can now do the x path expression now for that that means we can easily find the sum so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to say another compose and rename that to say sum and in the expression I'm going to say here x path so x path of we need to convert that into an XML format of the previous output of the JSON amount so XML then amount here we go that's a amount yeah now then after the two brackets put comma and then put two single quotations then inside what we want is we want the sum of as two brackets again because that's a function then slash remember the previous uh, you know step we have we have the root slash amount that's what we want here okay that see that root and the amount so see the syntax you can see from the tooltip that that's what i did oh sorry my um bad it didn't appear the again some bracket and slash root slash amount update okay that looks like it's correct i think uh, i think i got uh, got too many brackets there i believe one let me check that let me check it um yeah no no that's correct yeah so that's a format i'm going to put this format in my video below yeah okay so let's run this and see what we are going to get again okay looks like flow ran successfully and here it is see the first value then id number one we got two four hundred next we got two eight hundred and next we have minus two hundred see remember that's what uh, that's what we had is it earlier so minus two four hundred two eight hundred and two hundred minus two hundred Minus two four hundred, two eight hundred, yeah, yeah, and minus two hundred. All good. Okay. Now we want to convert this into, um, uh, you know, the form, the HTML format, which is, uh, you know, quite straightforward to do it. So I'm going to do the next step here is I'm going to do a compose again, and um, re rename the compose each id and sum okay because finally we got the result we want nearly there id 
so the id we we got each record id so that's output i want so i'm going to search with output and to look for the each record id each record id each yeah okay and comma next uh, that's the amount so amount it's coming from the sum we know that uh, you know we just check that that's correct so that's uh, output from the sum then so if you go up that's the first one see output sum there and then put curly bracket okay so hopefully that's correct yep then this is where i said earlier i want the append array you know the variable i first declared earlier so i want the append to array because we want to you know this to come uh, add this in an array so that we can easily convert that into an html format so final result each id and the sum here it is so that's done so now once the loop is executed we have a final array set of id and the values then finally we can have create html table and there i can say uh, you know the final result array if you want a custom table custom uh, you know i'm going to uh, set columns as automatic okay let's run this right flow ran successfully and hopefully we should have the final output here it is minus 2 for 100 2 height 100 and minus 200 and uh, see that's my sample data so you can see here see that's what i was suspecting see so this is the way you can iterate uh, you know using power automate um, so remember i used uh, quite a lot of select and uh, union and filter so this way you know i only got one applied to each technically here which i want to iterate each and every uh, you know unique ids so that i can filter it uh, use and then filter that values against the big uh, data set which is coming from the you know this the big data here and then utilize uh, you know select and um, the expression the xpath expression but for that we need a specific format so uh, you know may, uh, quite a lot of expressions are used quite a lot of specific format are used so all this i'm going to put under the video as well hope this is useful thank you for watching